night, I'ma do you right. Welcome you back. This is Bharat here from BJ Studio. Today's class is all about the basics of MCSA and MCSE, which was the same uh, the last class. Uh, the past two videos were all about the basics, and today's today today's class will also be the basics because, as I said, when you are strong on basics, that is when you will be able to concentrate or able to understand the concepts of the server. Okay, so uh, today's concept in basics is different. between or different types of server which we saw uh, last class last class was uh, different types of uh, servers and previously it was um, what to say the list of uh, certifications the first one was list of certification the second video was all about um, list of servers in particular microsoft server and today's class is all about the difference what is the difference why they have invented the new versions what is the reason behind it and what what all are the basic difference in it so today's class is so all as i said there are 12 different servers and if you are going to make a video it will be a longer video so i made a cut short and for difference itself we'll have five different videos so the first video which we're going to see today is the first class is all about difference between the windows nt that is new technology 4.0 and windows 2000 and windows server 2003 so these are the primary difference which has been jotted down so the first one here let me make it as a pointer okay i got a pointer so fine so the first difference here what we have to look into is the keywords primary domain control Ler and the here it is said as domain controller. Okay, what it is primary domain controller, domain controller. In NT we used to say it as primary domain controller, but whereas in server two thousand three and two thousand we said we started saying it as domain controller. Uh, there are people, there are many uh, still say it as primary domain controller. Um, that is really not a problem <laughs> because uh, we are used to it, so it's okay to use primary domain controller. It's uh, but. Technically, it is said as domain controller. Okay, so what is primary domain controller and domain controller? Okay, if I start saying that, it will take time. So in short, the the server which was created first and which has all the information with it is said as primary domain controller. Whatever the information has been carried out or whatever the things which has been done, we say it as primary domain controller. Okay, fine. If there is a problem in the primary domain controller or domain controller, what happens? We have something said as additional domain controller. Say if the server is crashed, okay, and um, an unfortunate situation, we are not able to do anything. So to give a time for troubleshooting the primary domain controller, we'll have a backup domain controller, which will have have all the information and will collide with it and start working with it until unless the primary domain controller is up. got it so that way we say it is primary domain controller and domain controller in nt and 2003 got it okay i was talking about the backup server if that goes on what happens the backup server will take a responsibility so in nt we say it is backup domain controller but as whereas in, in windows server 2000 and server 2003 we say we started saying it is additional domain controller we say it is adc Got it. So many of them start, uh, use the word uh, ADC only. Uh, it, it has been stopped. We have stopped using backup domain controller. We started using as additional domain controller. Got it. So you know what is uh, primary domain controller, additional domain controller. You know what is domain controller right now. Okay, great. Fine. These are the first two differences when it comes to uh, NT versions of servers and 2000 versions of servers. Fine. The third one is. <clears throat> we have a concept said as dns domain naming system let me say what is domain naming system okay in in shorter way if we are typing say www.google.com okay the system will convert it into a number it converts into a number okay that number will search with your isps if the isp has its own uh what to say uh, already a uh, saved page of google it will throw back to you and the page will appear short in shorter time 
Okay, before getting into the uh, ISPs, it will check your proxy itself, your web proxy, whether you have already used the Google page. If it is used, then it will start rendering. If it is used, it will start rendering that page itself and they start using it. Got it? If not, then it will start checking the uh, with, uh, what's the IP ISPs uh, uh, browser. Okay. If the ISPs has the information, it will start. It will throw back to us, and we'll we'll be able to visualize the page. Got it? So, whatever we type, we type it as www.google. But the system converts into a number. That we say it as. That process we say it as DNS. Before it was Windows Internet Naming Services. Any connections you are able to connect it? Correct. So that we previously in Windows NT we start we say it as Windows Internet Naming Services. But whereas in Windows Server 2000 we started saying it as DNS. Fine. I'll show you a simple example in a while. Okay. In just a while I'll show you a simple example how the DNS works and how. What is uh, DNS and all? Okay. Okay. The other one is support the maximum user of four thousand. Okay. So, as I said, if these will these will these are, these has flavors. So when I was in the last class, I was saying all the window. I mean Windows NT four point zero and two thousand. They started having additions and flavors and all. So according to the flavors, the user accounts different differs. But in general, this it supports maximum 40 user account. In server 2000 and server 2003, it supports 16,000. Okay, here it is 40,000. Here it is one six. That is 1600,000 user account. Still, it is less, but uh, comparatively, when it was introduced, it was more. People started thinking that uh, it is more, but later on, when it started working, it was less. Okay. So NT su supports forty thousand user account, and uh, Windows Server two thousand three supports sixteen one sixteen hundred thousand I mean, hundred and sixty thousand users. A little confusion in the numbering. Okay, fine. The other one in Windows NT 4.0, there was no concept set as Active Directory. Um, now, uh, just to give you an overview, Linux was not having an Active Directory. That is the only disadvantage in Linux. But when it comes when it comes to Microsoft, still Microsoft is in the market is because of the Active Directory. Got it? So. Still, Active Directory is there with Microsoft. That is the reason they are still surviving in the market. So that's the power of Active Directory. So when they initiated, there was no Active Directory concept set as Active Directory. But later on, they started using a concept set as an Active Directory, which is a powerful tool. Uh, nowadays, without this, anything is not happening at all. AI depends upon this. To fed the information to AI, we need an Active Directory. Got it? Great. Fine. So uh, the this one, when it comes to security, <laughs> still people say security, 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 high level security, more security, upper security. So security is not a limit at all. But when it was NT, there was there was nothing said as security. I could say that. But when it is when it comes to 2000, comparatively it was high. But more moving on, the security has been went to a next level of diversity and we we have totally a different level of securities now <laughs> great, great and, and the it in nt windows uh, server 2000 i mean windows nt windows server nts uh, it, it was a flat structure there is there was no hierarchies and since like just take this go there and it, it is a flat there is no complex in it but whereas in uh, Server 2000 and 2003, they started something said as hierarchy, the level layer level of approaches. So it made everything simple. But this, for everything, say for an example, if I'm opening an 
um, C drive. Okay, how I'm opening? I'm I'm opening by clicking the Start, opening Windows Explorer, and in Windows Explorer I'm clicking on Drives. Then I I'll open a C drive page. Okay, so in flat how it look how it went on is for everything it opens a separate window, but whereas in hierarchy in structure if you click in the same page it starts working it starts duplicating and start getting in. that is how we are working now but when it was introduced it was not like that for every click they used to go for what to say a different uh, uh, another window another window another window that is how it was all right and this is the basic difference and this is the most important difference when it comes to windows nt and windows server 2000 2003 servers great fine so Let's have a look, okay, how Windows NT looked and how Windows Server 2000 and 2003 looked, okay, just the basic, just the start icon, okay, so this is how the NT appeared, this is how the NT version appeared, more or less an XP kind of Windows situation scenario only, uh, see the difference in this, the icons, my computer, my document, Internet Explorer, see the this is what the primary difference we'll uh, we'll be able to note down. Okay, great. And let's get into Windows 2000. So this is how the Windows 2000 appeared. Were you able to see the difference in my computer icon and this my computer icon? <laughs> so this is how a small a small difference, but still it had a powerful impact in working style. Let's get into Windows Server 2003. This uh, maximum of them know that. Who are working in server side they know this because still the server are existing but who have not so this is the appearance this is how it looks the working style is same but little little difference as i said little difference every step makes a big difference correct <laughs> see the my computer here and the my computer here and this my computer led screen <laughs> Great. So this is this is what the basic difference you have to know when you are starting the server concepts. Okay. And without this, you will not be able to understand anything further. As I said, let's get into um, what to say. Uh, sorry. Let's get into the DNS, a simple example of DNS. I'm opening the command prompt. Okay. Many of them know this, but still I'm open. Uh, I'm showing this for you. I'm typing P I N G ping www dot G O O G L E dot com. Okay, this is the ping response which I get. Okay, so here I have an IP. Oh, they have moved into IPv6. Super. <laughs> Great. So IPv6 is soon getting into the market. Fine. So we usually get into Google uh, browser, correct? So let me get into Google Chrome. It's taking time. I'm typing www.google.com. Okay. At the same time, I'm opening a new browser and I took the ping result. This is the IPv6 result. Okay, we got this. Okay, I think there is a wrong intent. Okay, if this is not working, I think it's IPv6, so it may have an issue. If it is not working, okay, fine. Um, what I'm doing here is like, I'm just thinking this. What is the IP? Address? Okay. What is the IP address of Google? .com. So usually it used to have an IPv4 IP address, but I don't know. They have changed it. <laughs> this is an information to me. It's taking time. So if you have uh, a connection with a good connection, go ahead and type uh, 
IP address of Google. Okay, and take that IP address and put it in your browser. You'll be able to see the Google page itself. Got it? So that is the DNS functionality, the naming conversion uh, of the DNS thing. Okay, so I'm not able to get the IP address here. Okay, so find out an IP address. This is how you have to find the IP address. And type, instead of typing it as www.google.com, you can put in the IP address and then search the details. That will be a little faster, as people say. <laughs> Great. So uh, finally, we are ending up today's class with saying thank you. Thanks for watching me for a long time now. And if this information was very informative, go ahead and click, uh, like, click on the like button. And if you feel I'm giving an informative content, go ahead and subscribe our channel. And have a nice day, guys. Mm. Goodbye.